What are the red flags to identify when looking for a clinic? Looking for a physiotherapy clinic to visit? How do you know which one would be best for you? Here are some red flags to look for. Red flag number one, referrals. Is your family doctor adamant that you attend the clinic that he refers you to? If you tell him that you already have a clinic that you are comfortable with, does he insist that you switch? Many doctors do have secondary gains with clinics. If they are persistent that this is the only clinic that they deal with, it is an indication that there may be a kickback for referrals. Red flag number two, MVA. Have you been in a motor vehicle accident? Does your lawyer claim that if he takes you on as a client, that you must attend the clinic he works with? Does he say you must change clinics? Does he insist that you do so? Unfortunately, there are a lot of lawyers that accept kickbacks from clinics. If your lawyer is adamant that you attend their clinic, then it's probably time to look for a new lawyer. Red flag number three, reputation. Do your research, refer to the clinic's website. Do they list their team and credentials? When clinics that do not place their clinicians on the website, it's occasionally an indication that there may be no physiotherapist on staff. Quite often, chiropractors own clinics with physiotherapy in their name, but there isn't a physiotherapist as part of their staff. They have chiropractors and physio assistants. Red flag number four, the clinical experience. Did the clinic provide a thorough assessment compromised of asking questions? Re, history of injury, past medical history and previous treatment. Did they provide a comprehensive physical examination of posture and gait analysis and strength and mobility testing? This should take between 30 to 60 minutes based on the complexity of the condition. Red flag number five, billing. Did the same clinician who completed the assessment continue to provide ongoing treatment or was it someone else? Quite often, treatments are delegated to physiotherapy assistants, working with you and billed under the physiotherapist. Make sure you check the credentials of the treating clinician. Red flag number six, licensed physiotherapist. Are you getting hands-on treatment and one-on-one -on -one time with a therapist? Or are you just getting a couple of supervised stretches and a hot pack in a machine? Does the therapist who completed your original assessment appear for occasional reassessments? There are often signs of a physiotherapy assistant providing ongoing treatment. While this is allowed, it must be disclosed to the client who informed consent. Key Indicators If the doctor writes a referral on a specific clinic script, you can still use that same script for a clinic of your choice. Your insurance company will approve your claims regardless of the clinic you attend. They will accept it. A lawyer cannot dictate which clinic you attend. Make a decision that will give you the optimal treatment for your injuries. Call and ask the clinic the name and credentials of the physiotherapist. They should match what is on your invoice. Did the clinic provide treatment on the first day? There should be at least some hands-on and an exercise provided on day one. Choose Paramount Physiotherapy and Sports Injuries Clinic. Your health is paramount. It starts with you. Call today and speak to one of our experts to see why we are the best choice for you.